Grab your Bible and let's look at another biblical character who discovered not only that God is present, but that his presence brings a precious promise. When I was in my third year at university, I was given the opportunity to go on a four-month mission to Argentina. I think I was typical of kids my age, fairly confident, perhaps a little too sure of myself and my abilities to help the work of the Salvation Army in that country. I was a good Salvationist, teaching Sunday school, regularly attending church, singing in the songsters, the choir, and I think I really believed that God was with me. Imagine my shock when I got off the plane and the officer who met me said to me, of course you speak Spanish, and when I said no, he replied, there has been a terrible mistake. You are going to spend your whole time with people who don't speak English. And four days later, I took a 24-hour bus ride to the north of the country for my first assignment. I traveled with a dictionary on my lap. And when the bus stopped for people to get something to eat, I ordered the only things that I recognized on the menu. Cafe con leche, coffee with milk, pani manteca, bread and butter. My sense of being powerless and inadequate drove me to seek God in his word. And the passage for that first night was found in Exodus 33, 12 to 14. Let me read it for you. Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so that I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. You might think that this promise was given to Moses as he began his leadership of God's people, but in fact it comes after he has led them out of Egypt through the Red Sea and received the Ten Commandments. This is a promise for the final section of the journey through the wilderness to the Promised Land. The promise that God himself will go with them is strengthening, but don't miss out on the fringe benefit to that presence in our lives. God says, I will give you rest. Throughout the four months I spent in Argentina, I was able to prove that as I continued to trust God to work out the details of my service, I would find rest. When I returned home to the routines of life, first at university and then in my chosen profession as a high school teacher, I could not escape the fact that I had never been more at rest than I, when I was totally dependent on God. My experience as an officer has only confirmed this truth. This remains a precious promise to me, especially in times of stress and uncertainty. What about you? Moses experienced the peace of God when he accepted the assignment God gave him. What is God asking you to do today? Let's pray. Father, we thank you because you have promised to be with us and to give us peace. Help us to discover what your purpose is for our lives today and to relax in the peace that you give us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.